Satish Thakre and I am Chief Technology Officer at Scientech Technologies. I am here today to introduce you to Scientech 2809 Understanding MSK, GMSK and GFSK Modulator and Demodulator with AWG and Channel Noise and BER Measurement. In today's digital high speed communication system, primary consideration is to achieve the modulation with power spectrum of acceptable bandwidth and a constant amplitude of modulated signal. Some of the most efficient modulation techniques are like MSK, GMSK and GFSK. They are the part of the continuous, uh, they are the actually part of the constant phase frequency shifting that is CPFSK modulation family with a constant angular. Since the modulated signal has a constant amplitude and efficient RF amplifier of class C, and can be used to minimize the power consumption and that's why it has been used widely in a battery powered unit uh, something like your GSM cell phone so it is widely used in GSM uh, cell phone now let us have the demonstration of this uh, to Scientific 2809 as it is specifically designed for the students in the communication field where they can explore this particular technology and they can study the different different analysis like the time domain, frequency domain analysis of the signal and they come to know about this particular topic uh, and its advantages over the other topic. Now let us go for the demonstration. Now let us have the demonstration of Scientific 2809. Uh, if you see the block diagram over here, you will get the on the top side there is a monitor block diagram. You can configure in any modes if you want to configure like an MSK or GMSK or G, GFSK, you can configure it. Then the output of the I channel and Q channel modulated signal goes to the channel AWG and channel. And from there, you can add the cha channel noise in between and after that the signal will come over here at the BNC. Right? That is I channel and the Q channel. Now these two signals will go to the demodulator input right? and after demodulating the signal uh, you can recover the signal at the uh, output data and you can compare with the test data. Now this entire unit is interfaced by USB through a software which comes along with this that is a real time software and here you can have the um, graphical user representation of this particular software. Now this is the home screen uh, where you can get the uh, uh, continuous phase frequency shifting modulator and then the channel noise added and after that the demodulator and then uh, this received signal with the transmitted signal get compared over here uh, by using bit rate measurement to have the analysis of the signal. Now on the left hand side you will get all the block diagrams like if you click on this particular modulator you will get the modulator and if you want to configure that particular modulator you just need to click on the um, any blocks and then you can set the parameter which is related to the uh, modulator like if you want an FSK modulator you just need to click it set and ok and so on that's the way you need to configure it and similarly if you want to add any kind of channel noise you just need to set what is the signal gain what is the noise gain and so on then you can set this particular parameter right. and after that with respect to the modulator setting you need to set for the demodulator and similarly you can do it over here. Now after doing all these things uh, you can also see the BR measurement block 6 where you can add the signal gain what you have added and you can add the noise gain and then you will get the SNR and SNR in dB and then uh, you can get the number of error bits directly you can hit the monitor button and you can get the number of error bits and directly you can calculate the BR measurement. Now, at the first, you need to detect the device, right? So, you just need to click on the detect device. So, it will do some processing. It will detect the hardware and this particular message will prompt up. After that, uh, we have also given the factor setting. If you click on the factor setting, it can come into the default mode. And if you want to configure it, and you can just click on the configure button, right? So after that it will get configured. Now if you want to see what particular modulation technique, what signal gain you have uh, entered in this particular um, example, then you just need to click on the view parameter and then it will give you what current setting is all about of your uh, Scientific 2809. And then 
since it is also having a built-in uh, uh, digital storage oscilloscope and the uh, logic analyzer that is you can analyze the signal whatever the signal which is there you can analyze in the software uh, in the real time so you need to hit this particular button that is analysis button so you can get the graphical user interface of uh, the time domain analysis now you need to select the respective channel like if you want to select for the channel A then what sort of signal you want to select it suppose present it has been selected A4 channel which is I channel and similarly uh, for channel B which is B2 which is uh, a Q channel see suppose I want to observe a signal which is an I channel and Q channel which is on the BNC on the software itself then I need to first click on the apply changes then I need to hit the trigger button to trigger the signal and after that I need to plot the signal so you can see that the respective signal will come over here so it will acquire the signal which is there in the textbook and it will display it on the um, software itself now presently this particular thing is in the unsigned mode I need to change into sign mode right? similarly I have to do for the channel B so I will choose the channel B right? and if I want to move the signal up and down I will use the Y position of the channel A and channel B respectively right? so in this way I can analyze the signal in the real time right? if I want to see the uh, XY plot of this particular signal what I will do I will directly click on this XY mode right? and suddenly the XY mode of the signal I can observe it over here right? so with this particular setup we can do all the analysis uh, of the continuous phase frequency shifting modulator and demodulator te techniques right and now let's have the frequency domain analysis and for that I am having a spectrum analyzer which is a handheld spectrum analyzer and what I am going to do is like I will connect the BNC like uh, an I channel over here to the I channel and then I will connect to the uh, spectrum analyzer now since the center frequency uh, in the view parameter you must have seen that since the center frequency is uh, uh, around uh, uh, 0 hertz so I have set my spectrum analyzer at 0th frequency right? and you can see the spectrum of the MSK signal right? so in this way what you can do is that you can do the time domain analysis you can do the XY analysis and at the same time you can do the spectrum analysis right? so by changing the various parameters and so on uh, one can do all these measurements and everything with this tech so scientific 2809 tech book along with software and the frequency domain analysis on a spectrum analyzer is an ideal learning platform for uh, students to learn continuous phase frequency shifting modulator and demodulator with AWG and channel wise and BR measurements so it is going to solve the all the problems which is related to this topic and it will help students to understand this particular topic in a very simple manner. Thanks a lot.